Hi, it's Bill from Hobby Link International. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I'm trying to remember exactly how I did them. So we'll see how this one goes. Uh, don't forget, uh, down there in that corner somewhere is the uh, there's a button and a bell I think to get notified of future videos from usually from Kenny, uh, occasionally from myself. And today we have a look inside the box of a new kit from Flyhawk. This is their one seven hundredth HMS. Formidable. HMS Formidable was an illustrious class aircraft carrier ordered before the Second World War but was completed in late 1940. She was briefly assigned to the home fleet before being transferred to the Mediterranean and she spent several years there. In 1945 she was transferred to the Pacific. Um, her and her sister ships uh, were worked hard throughout the war. Uh, Formidable was damaged a few times uh, seriously in the Mediterranean once and she was hit twice by kamikazes in the Pacific um, luckily her armoured flight deck saved any serious damage from the kamikazes and she was scrapped in 1953. Okay so let's see what's in the box. Let's we'll start with let's see what's on the outside of the box. Obviously HMS Formidable 1941 uh, kit number 1152S. The S means as you can see here it has the extras, brass gun barrels, load of photo etch, you know the deluxe edition. On the sides, some QR codes, and on that side, just some picture. There's not so much on the end, so let's have a look. First off, a picture of the cover art. And on the back is some information about um, HMS Formidable. Uh, interesting read, but probably about the same as you can get on Wikipedia. Instructions, the usual format, long thin sheets. I'll scan these and get them all on the website. In fact, we'll go through them after I've opened the box. But it's the usual stuff, it's in colour where needed. Um, and plenty of detail. Paints, Mr. Hobby and Tamiya and colour coats, and obviously named. And good, uh, usual good information, as you can see. Lots of colour uh, where you need it to tell the difference between things. And then loads and loads of little plastic bags. So, is that one? One of these. Seems to be, there's the island. Main hole wrapped in foam, more sprues, more sprues, more sprues, there's the waterline, let's see if I can take these off here, looks good, like a hangar deck and that's like the waterline. Then we have the photo etch um, and ins more instructions for the photo etch. So you can see this and then underneath it is yet more photo etch and all the barrels all nicely laid out. At the bottom there's a metal plate inside there and a decal sheet. So I'll scan all these. Um, the level of detail if you can see on the on the hull here is on the hull. The uh, uh, island is really good up to fly hooks, usual very high standards, lots of fine detail. But I'll put this on there. It's just undo this. 
take another quick look what this looks like. got there's the flight deck you can see there's actually raised detail on the flight deck I never realized that there's a raised area here then we have oops, this is the forecastle and the aft end of the ship and this is the interior walls that just basically it's going to drop in there somewhere like that let's look at the side walls on there portholes panel lines plate lines lots of fine detail there's detail underneath on here you know it looks really nice there's lots of nice stuff there is the bottom of the hull obviously you can do because they've included the this item you have the choice of making it full hull or waterline um, so there's plenty there okay so I'll unbag all this lot and take photographs and then we'll have a quick run through some of the instructions and a look at close-up look at some of the key parts this is the second kit of an illustrious class carrier that Flyhawk have done, having previously done HMS Illustrious. Uh, in this kit, there's in the box, there's uh, two sheets of full colour instructions, and the colours used to make things more obvious where needed. There's 535 plastic parts, approximately. There's a metal plate. There's a small P sheet with about 60 parts on it. Uh, decals for the aircraft. Um, if you get the special edition there's another 350 PE parts approximately uh, plus you also get the brass barrels and brass masts. The instructions follow Flyhawk's usual way of doing things. Starts off with pictures of the sprues um, other than just making sure you've got the right number of sprues the pictures are too small to actually use it for locating parts. Um, then you come down through the usual instructions or safety instructions and step one you build the uh, the main part of the hull uh, above the water line um, nice detail on the hull sides um, if you've got the special edition you'll have to do some work beforehand because some of the well quite a few of the smaller parts are replaced by brass in the special edition so you'll have to plan that all all out in advance uh, but the instructions so far are nice and clear and lots of nice detail on the plastic parts step two is where you'd add the part of the hull below the waterline if you want to make it um, a full hull ship or you can just add a plate uh, if you want to make it waterline and you add a few other parts and some smaller parts on radars at the bottom with photo etch that comes with the standard edition of the kit being used. Step 3 starts at the front end of the hull, uh, adding in small details such as the anchors and some of the anti-aircraft guns that you built in step 2. There's a handy little guide there for something which obviously they found people might get wrong, just telling you to confirm something before you actually cut it. So that'll come in useful. Step four is at the aft end of the ship, just adding a few more small parts. Uh, again, anti-aircraft guns, ship's boats, and a few small parts. There's not though that many parts get added in this step, actually. Step five has you basically building the island. Um, nice detail as it on it, as you can see. Um, quite a few small parts. Some of these parts, again, the, would be replaced by brass in the special edition. Uh, nice use of colour to help you work out which things go where, um, but it should be a nice island when it's all put together. 
Step six, you add the flight deck, um, add the lifts. There's not actually that many uh, pieces going here, a few assemblies that you've built earlier. But essentially, once you've got step six done, um, that's the ship complete. Step seven just adds a few uh, masts to the ship, and that's it, basically. Um, obviously, these will be replaced by brass in the special edition. The aircraft are put together as exactly the same as previous um, Flyhawk aircraft with photo etch for to replicate the wiring and struts in between the wings for the biplanes. Um, they're really very nicely detailed for one 700 scale aircraft. You get uh, swordfish, uh, fulmars and albacores. Um, looks like about half a dozen to a dozen of each type so enough there to keep you busy for a while and you can add more if you want to. Paints are called out by name and also by in Mr Hobby, Tamiya and some of them in colour coats, um, ID numbers as well. You get views from above of the ship's boats and port starboard and above view of the ship herself. Uh, you also get decals to paint the lines on the flight deck. The big long um, white line down the middle of the flight deck is made, seems to be made from uh, a few uh, individual strips, so you'll have to get all those aligned together. But other than that, shouldn't be too bad. Overall, it's a very nice kit of HMS Formidable. Um, as per Flyhawk's usual sort of standards, lots of small parts, lots of fine detail. Uh, with the uh, special edition, the extra few hundred photo etch part, that takes it to the next level um, for both detail and for needing to use your eyes to see the small parts and also for the time you'll need to commit to it. But it should, it could easily be made into really quite an impressive looking kit. And many thanks to Flyhawk for sending it along for review.